So, all right, let's talk about the David Tyree play and the Eli escape. You said earlier that you know, people say it was like, oh, it was like a fluke catch. Like, uh, no, that, that offends me. You're not giving the guy credit for that. I mean, first of all, Eli getting away from three. You know what I'm saying on the sideline? Mike, Mike Carey had the game. Mike, don't blow the whistle. Don't blow it dead. You know, because he had three guys and they were all tugging on him. All right, and he just kind of moved up through and got out in front of all of them. Then he throws the ball down the middle of the field, a high arcing ball down the middle of the field. I'm thinking, if he overthrows this, it's, it's going the other way. And then David Tyree gathers and goes up because he's coming back like he's taught to come back when the quarterback scrambled. He goes up and makes a good, really good catch and an outstanding safety, Rodney Harrison, strips one arm away from the ball. So now he's got nothing. The only way he can secure the ball is on the side of his helmet. Harrison goes down and he goes across his knees. He somehow hangs on to the ball and he's laying on the ground and he's got the ball firmly. He doesn't even let him rip the ball out when he's you know, on the ground. So the quality of the play and, and the, the magnificence of the hour and the situation and when that occurred, just, just incredible. And David had scored the touchdown earlier. And then the ball never touched the ground. Never. So never, no dispute as to whether or not never. Catch it or not. So. Never. It's a book that talks about the improbable New York Giants beating the New England Patriots 17-14 when they had lost a few weeks earlier, 38-35. So it's a fun read. It's a good read. There's great life lessons in there. And that's what I believe in as a teacher is that not only do I, am I responsible for the X's and O's, but the young men, their development, and how I can help them in life.